In this tutorial, you will learn on how to paint a mermaid statue, a crossing wave, and many more. My name is John Menisondra and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint a simple landscape painting with a mermaid and also some crossing waves. Okay, but before that I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. I have here my pen palette. I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you'll observe guys that I'm always choosing limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And this will be the possible process that I'm going to use in this tutorial, guys. I have here the number 11 nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 8 nylon flat brush, short handled. And number 1 nylon brush for the details. Okay. And this is my canvas, guys. It's 10 by 12 inches. It has 3 coats of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. And I made it myself. And water guys to thin the paint. And water spray guys if ever you're gonna need um, a smoother surface or a wet surface. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start now guys. I'm going to start with the base color or the or the undercoats. And I have here um, um, the the first um, my study sketch guys. So that I can have a reference for my mermaid. Okay and I'm going to provide you the traceable guys for this mermaid um, um, picture okay that's it so I think I'm going to start now okay here I have the so I'm going to use first this number 11 flat brush and I'm going to create um, a very I tell you this what a very um, cloudy scene guys and I'm gonna have a crashing waves here and I'm going to put the, the mermaid statue guys on on, uh, on the rock on the top of a rock okay he she is sitting on the top of rock guys so I'm going to use this blue here with some red to make a violet and a white here to, to have a darker a lighter violet guys or a purple then I'm gonna apply it here directly. There. So I think I'm gonna put my horizon here. And this part, guys. But you can also add, use a tape, guys, to create a straight horizon. Just like what I did in the, my previous. Um, see paintings okay I'm gonna add more red violet here um, red and white so that I can have um, a sunset or a reddish color on my sky okay and let's have some white here so this will be a very dark but I'm going to put all my lights here guys on the on the mermaid statue so that all um, because my subject uh, because my subject will be the mermaid guys so I'm going to put all the lights here here some white there some white again it now I'm gonna mix for um, orange color guys so that we can have um, a little orange color here on the horizon 
So I'm gonna use this yellow color. So it turns green, guys, because we have some blue color on our on our on our brush. Right here, I'm gonna add some red, some yellow, and more white. Lots of white here. That's it. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna use this red here, red and yellow, there, some red, I'm gonna add some red here guys, so that we can have a and I'm going to add some blue color and some red, and some white, I'm going to make this I'm darker here. Another color right here. There. So all you have to do guys, all you have to do is just follow what I'm doing. There. Here. So you just have to blend the colors just like what I'm doing here. That's it. I'm gonna add more colors here and some white also. There. Just add some more white here. Okay. That's it. And I'm going to blend the colors guys. I'm gonna mix for another violet. Some more white. There. All you have to do guys is just blend the colors. And follow what I'm doing. If you are painting with me now. Okay. That's it. I want to add more. Okay. And also here guys, we can add more here. So I'm going to mix again for another violet ocean here. And add some red. There. mix again with another violet color so just blue and bright color and some white to make it lighter more white add more white here and let's create the horizon So I'll just blend the colors here guys. Okay. That's it. So make sure it's a straight line guys. Actually you can use a tape if you want. Just like what I did in the on the previous tutorial. I use a, a tape guys so that I can have a straighter horizon. And we'll add some white here. There. This will be some crossing waves here, guys. But anyway, this is just uh, the the base color or the or the what do you call this undercoat here. So this will be. I'm going to add a, a crossing wave here, guys, on this part. 
Ayan ang gonna mix for an uh, a blue a blue green color. So here, add uh, some white here. There. That's it. I'm just I'm going to put the the crossing wafer, guys. So I'm adding some blue green. Anyway, this is just the uh, the background color. So just follow what I'm doing. And I'm gonna add some dark colors here because I'm gonna put lots of rocks here guys in this part so I'm gonna use the blue and the red here so I'm going to add more rocks here or stones or or water or whatever okay here and add some dark colors and I'm going to add a little greenish yellow there and some blue color there and you can also use the black guys there some blue colors so as you observe guys I'm using lots of lots of colors it's all up to you guys anyway I'm just I'm just I'm making the the undercoat so you will be the one to um, decide what colors you're gonna, gonna add as long as it's dark like this like what like what you see on the on on the screen or what you see uh, what or what I did or what I'm doing okay here there so this will be some rocks here some huge rocks and I'm going to put the mermaid here guys then I'm um, sitting on the floor oh no no sorry sitting on the on the on the rock or, or on the huge rock okay so I think I'm going to add one more coat here yeah some white and some blue color no it's so dark so I'm gonna add some white there and some white here to have a lighter tone there anyway guys I'm, I'll just retouch this part when I'm done painting or doing the the mermaid so I'm going to add more retouch later okay so I think I'm gonna let it dry first and then I'm going to to sketch and then add the background colors and gonna retouch more on this painting okay so let it dry first guys for at least five minutes then I'm gonna go back adding the details okay guys so I think the paint is already dry now I'm going to start adding the details so I'm gonna start by sketching the the mermaid okay the statue of the mermaid so I have here my reference guys I did this a, a while ago sketching first okay so let's start and I forgot to mention guys we need chalk for our sketching you can also use color pencil if you have a lighter color pencil um, if you're going to use a pencil guys that don't, it will be a little hard because we have a dark background here so chalk is the best for this one so I think I'm going to I'm going to place the head of the mermaid here yeah it's gonna be a very huge rock guys here okay so let's do the the circle first here we're gonna do the, the stickman drawing first guys This will be the shoulder here. Okay. 
in erasing the chalk guys uh, you can use um, wet um, brush make sure guys that the brush has no paint on it okay So the problem with the chalk guys you know, it's very hard to create the details especially if the if the drawing is very very small so that will be a disadvantage of using a chalk guys there do the tail here there so this will be some huge rocks here guys Okay, there's something wrong with the uh, proportion, but I will just I'll just retouch here. Okay, so anyway, guys, we can retouch that later if there's there's something wrong. It's easier to retouch because we just have to cover it with paints. Hey, I'm not sure if. Okay, so I think I'm going to retouch here. I'm going to change this part. Not sure if it's okay, so let's see. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna start by okay, wait there. So I think I'm gonna start by doing the dark colors first before adding the, the lighter one. So I'll be using a black direct color um, the black color guys so here I'll be using this black color here so that we can have the sketch there so I'll do the hair first shoulder here and also here another shoulder here Okay, here. 
so just follow what I'm doing guys so again guys this is a stat statue of uh, of the mermaid so it's not a real mermaid guys it's a statue okay. it has a very very small body so they am gonna make it bigger on this part Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's okay. I think my sketch guys, my my study skills is better than the, the my sketch here. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Okay, I'm going to add the nose first. I guess you can use the number one liner brush for this. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna make it uh, a little bigger, the shoulder. Okay. So here we're gonna add more. Rock. That's it. Okay, so we had no sketch, so I'm going to add first the background colors. So I think I'm gonna mix for so I think I'm gonna mix for for dark color guys. I think I'm I think I'm gonna use the gray color see here. So black and white only. There. So this is just the background colors guys, it's not yet uh, the color. And you can spray it with water so that it will be a little wet. Okay. Should be dark here. I'm gonna add some white. I think I'm gonna add some black, more black. There. And some white to make it lighter. There. Okay. Here, gonna and also paint the shoulder. So all you have to do, guys, is just add a black of a dark color on the on the body of the statue. There. it and also here and add more. okay so yeah now this the mermaid okay so so let's 
add more dark colors guys on the rock so I'm gonna use this block here some red there and some yellow there so just add more black there some blue so whatever you can put raise as long as it's dark that's good there so this painting guys will be a little dark but I'm gonna add more light on the on the statue and also on the on some parts so that it will become um, dramatic yeah can add more blue color and some yellow there with some red some blue so just follow what I'm doing guys Okay, so I think I'm going to retouch more on the, the background first. Okay, so, so that's it, guys. So we have oh, we are already we are done adding the the back, the the base coat or the first coat of the of our painting, guys. Then next we're gonna do the the background first before we're gonna add some highlights on our mermaid. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in so that we can see clearly in our painting and. You can see the details guys okay okay that's it that's nice and I will be using a smaller brush So I have here the yellow and the red, okay, and some white, some red, some yellow. There, so it's add more colors here, guys, so that it will become solid. There, some white. So it's a sunset scene, guys, with the mermaid. There. And we can add some red. There, so that we can add some red color on our on our sunset, on our sky. Okay. also here it's okay guys if you cover some parts of your sketch so you can actually uh, add that later or you can you can add details later here But more here. Okay. So here I'm going to mix for a violet guy. So I'm going to use this blue and red, of course, and some white. It should be red violet guy. So I'm adding more red and I'm adding more red and white. That's it. More white. You can spray it with water guys so that it won't be hard for you to 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 blend there so it will become easier guys if it's wet there so 
So we're just retouching the sky guys Adding more violet on the color here also So again guys let's spray it with water That's it That's great. Okay, I'm going to add more here. So I'm I am I'm using the number eight flat brush, guys. Long handle. Okay, I'm, I'm going to add more white and blue there. Let's add more white, guys, and let's add more white here for the clouds. here so that it will become bright there okay and more blue color and some red to make it violet Okay, I'm going to retouch more here. So again guys, I'm making the, the sky darker so that it will become more um, more focused on this part. Okay. Okay. So now let's paint the the ocean or the sea. I'm oh, sorry. And I'm gonna move down so that we can see clearly on our on that part. Okay. So this will be a very rough sea, guys, with lots of um, with lots of um, waves or crossing waves at the distance. So I'll still be using this violet here Need some red to make it a little blue violet I'm going to add more blue And some white There, so it should be a lighter blue guys So here There So just quick um, short strokes guys There And also here Just quick short strokes or horizontal quick strokes guys so that we can s create uh, the illusion of um, waves on the distance here also That's it. Okay. 
and here also it's okay guys if you cover some parts of the anyway this is we can we can cover it later we can retouch that later okay and I'm gonna add some darker colors on the on the distant there so we can spray the water so that it will be easy for us to to blend here So I'll just blend here and also here. That's it. Okay. Okay, guys. So I think I'm going to add now the, the crossing waves so first guys we're gonna use this color here with some more blue and some white there so make sure guys it's uh, a gray yes or a blue is gray color but lighter then we can add some crossing wave here there so i'll be using the same brush guys the number eight fat brush So it will be a crushing wave here also. So I'm going to assume guys that there will be lots of rocks on this part. That's why there are plenty of uh, That's why the, the wave is really crossing here. Okay. That's it. And of course here I'm gonna add some crossing points or a crossing wave here. Okay. There. So you observe guys that my color is is still um, thin or lighter so we're gonna add the highlights later so don't worry about it there so I think I'm gonna erase some chalks so I'm gonna add more white here another classics maybe here and some white to create more gray has blue color here guys is an add more so my highlights guys is on coming from the left side so this is not the sunset guys the sunset will, will be on the left side so ok 
Okay. And here, I cannot. So I'm gonna move down, guys, so that you can see clearly. There. And here, guys, it's gonna add more white foams or bubbles. So they call it white white foams. And here I'm going to add some lighter color. So I'm gonna use blue and yellow to create a bluish or blue green, guys, and white here. There, that's it. with some red color yeah. this will be a shallow part guys of the of the sea of, or of the water so until here So I'm gonna add some yellow and uh, and and red guys to make an, some orange orange stone here. Okay. So just follow what I'm doing, guys. Sometimes it's really hard to explain, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. Okay here. So uh, um, I am adding more. I am adding some blue green color guys and I'm brownish color here because I want <coughs> this about to be shallow and the water and you can see the bottom of the water like the rocks the stones or whatever you found on the beneath the beneath the water okay that's it and now we're going to add some foams white foams so I'm going to use again this blue and the red And add more white. So here, I'm gonna mix another bluish gray. There. Make it lighter, guys. There. So we're gonna add more foams here. There. So I'm using the same brush, guys. So it's okay guys if you cover some parts of the mermaid, that's fine. I'm going to retouch that later. So this will be the foams. There. That's it. Until here. Okay. Okay, that's it, guys. So that's those are some white foams from the crossing wave. Okay, now. I'm going to add some highlights on our crossing wave. So this will be a very, very um, okay, very, very exciting part, guys. Adding the highlights so that we can uh, make the painting pop out. Okay, so here I'm gonna use the white, the pure white, and some yellow, some red color. So, so we're going to put a 
um, a yellowish highlights guys because it's um, a sunset or a sunlit color so here it is gonna put some highlights here there so again guys just tapping a punching technique and put it on top of the the crossing wave there and also here So again guys, do it slowly guys so that you can to avoid some more mistakes or to avoid, to avoid overdoing. And here, of course, some little highlights. There. And here, guys, on the bottom, you can add some foams, white foams. So later guys we can add more white. Here guys we can add a little highlights there. And also here. And also on this part. So again guys, do not overdo it and just add the white, the lighter color on top of it. There. And here let's add some, a little amount. That's it. So I think that looks natural. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add more here. Yeah, that looks nice. But later, guys, later, guys, we can add more white, lighter highlights. Okay. And I'm gonna add more here. Some small highlights on the foams. Yeah. Okay. So what else? So I think I'm going to to add more lighter highlights, guys, and I'm going to use another brush. I'll be using this number eight um, flat brush, short handle, 
and I'm gonna use a pure white so this one guys is a little thicker and lighter than the previous one there that's it so just do it carefully guys and slowly and some more white here So again guys, I'm just adding more highlights in here guys also. Okay. That's it. So I'll just put all the highlights here guys because I want the in attention on this on the center so I'm not gonna put here so that's okay so next I think I'm going to add more I'm going to add I'm going to start adding the hi highlights on the on the mermaid case so I'm gonna start mixing for that color I'm gonna make the mermaid cast a little gray, yes, or um, it should look like a rock. So I'm gonna add a gray color with some green colors or some plants or whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna mix for a gray color, guys, but it's not really plain gray. But I'm going to add some white on it. Uh, no, yellow. And first thing I'm going to focus on the mermaid so that you can see clearly okay so here and I'm going to add some white there So just add ye yellow guys on your existing color on the gray color guys so that you can have this kind of color. Okay, but I think guys, I'm going to mix for a little um, bluish color. So I'm gonna use this color here, guys, with some red to make it bluish, some blue color here, and make it darker there. So I'm adding more, I'm adding some bluish color first, or some diffuse reflection, or or some bouncing lights guys on this part there yeah, and also here so again guys I'll provide you the sketch 
so that you can you can follow the the color here yeah. gonna make it bluish there and also here Okay, and this makes here also a little bluish color. There. There. And I'm gonna add some black guys and some yellow I'm gonna add some dark darker tones here but I'm gonna add more black I'm gonna make it darker there so you can use your fingers to, to blend and also here So I'm going to blend here and also here guys this part also okay so now let's start adding more highlights so it will be a little orange guys the color so here I'm gonna use some some yellow oh, and red and more white there so we have now an orange color so we'll just put here So just put it on the left side guys so that because all my our light source is coming from the left side so just follow what I'm doing here okay I think we're gonna, we're gonna need to use a smaller brush here also there that's it Okay, so we just have to do it slowly guys and carefully. Okay, here. There. And I think I, I'm gonna use a smaller brush, the number one liner brush, so that we can have a smaller details. So I'll be using this color again. Between the nose, of course. Okay. I 
that's it. Okay. And on the shoulder. So again guys, just follow what I'm doing. And always remember guys, just put uh, the highlights on the left side. there so I think more yellow And here, just gonna add more. Okay, about that. And I'm gonna mix for a bluish color, guys, for this part. No, uh, here, this color, guys, here. The grayish color, I mean, with some yellow on it, and some white. So, I'm gonna put it here. There. And I'm gonna use the bluish color, some bluish color here. Some more black. I think I'm gonna use a bigger brush. using this um, bluish color here with some white so you guys here I'm gonna make this um, a little darker guys here because I want to make the attention on this part And here, I guess, is a little bluish. There. Okay. That's it. And I think I'm going to add also some bluish color guys on the on the rock here. There. Okay, and also here. I'm going to use this color guys the orange color here to add some highlights on the rock and some white also some orange highlights here there that's it and I'm gonna mix for brown here black red and yellow and some white to add some more brown here okay so we just have to blend and blend guys here that's it
Okay. So I think I'm going to add some rock guys on this here. So I'm going to mix for a brownish color or some bluish color here. With some black. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move down so that we can see clearly in our view on the details. Okay. Okay, that's it. So I think I'm going to finish this one. It's almost done, guys. And I'm gonna add more rocks here. So I'm gonna use this black color here. There. I'm gonna add more rock here. And I'm gonna extend this one down. We need some red. Some blue color. In here, guys. Okay, let's add some more dark. Some bluish color here. There. And I'm going to add some um, darker blue guys here. This will be some reflection guys on the rock. And also this part, I'm going to add some more rock. There. Okay. So I'm going to retouch, touch more. So I'm going to mix for brown guys, more brown color. And also green guys here. Can add more green here and also here. Some greenish color. This will be some sort of um, blue green algae on the rocks there some blue and yellow again here And of course here guys can add more highlights. I'm going to use the brown light brown here. Yellow and red. 
here. There. Add a few rocks here. So again, guys, just follow what I'm doing and do not overdo it. You just have to add some few rocks, some few highlights of the rocks, and I'm, I'm adding a little, a little greenish color. There. That's it. Okay, and of course here also guys, add more here. And here. There. Yeah, I think I'm almost, almost done, guys. Yeah. I'm not sure, guys, if... Uh, but I'm going to add more highlights on the rocks and also on the... Yeah, and also here. I'm going to add more highlights here. So, I'm going to add a little bluish color, more, more bluish color. Yeah. Touch it and also here. To add some diffuse or light guys on the left side. This will help. And here, guys, of course, can add here some bluish color. Hey, okay. and I think I'm going to add more yellowish color, guys, highlights on this part. So I'm gonna uh, use this white here. There, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm just adding more highlights guys and of course here in the rocks so the rocks guys should have a little darker color Also here. Okay, so again, guys, just put it on top of its color. And let's add some here, a little amount. There. Touch it here also. And here. Yeah. 
to not overdo it guys that's enough okay so i think i am done guys with my um painting tutorial on how to paint a mermaid on the beach so i hope guys you get something something out of this tutorial and if you are painting with me just follow everything i did in this video and good luck guys and have fun painting please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and my advice guys is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush and the more you know how to use the colors uh, i mean uh, to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors my palette guys because i want you to learn how to mix and get any colors you want okay thank you guys have a nice day and god bless you all